All right, good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to OFAC episode 43. Um, I'm Pete, and with me tonight is Zach. Um, Ian's been called away at the last minute, so the Ox Father has stepped in to save the day once again. Thank you, Zach. That's what I do, baby. You are about to listen to Only Fools and Collecting, a podcast for those who like a good moan about figure collecting and don't mind naughty words. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, we'll start... Um, the show as we always do with um a shout out to our sponsor um what a scrapyard so it's uh... only fools and collecting is brought to you by Watto's scrapyard they 3d print parts for your hard to come by kind of vehicles they 3d print 1 12th and 1 6th scale head sculpts from a massive back catalog if there is a particular character you want he can design and 3D print it for you for a reasonable price. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. What an angel. Uh, what an absolute man. angel. Sean Fear, friend of the show, basically keeps this show running. Um, yeah, along big with shout the, out. Along with the, uh, the Patreon angels. But yeah, no, uh, I mean, I think we've all got s some, some of his work in our collections. You've even got yourself... Uh, yeah, probably the best sculpt he's made, if I'm being honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it still on the Stormtrooper? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, of course Sometimes I'll yeah. switch it around. You know, I'll put it on a uh, Darth Vader or... Uh, Darth Vader, I should that probably one. put it on the Mando. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I put it on Kylo before. It, it, it makes a way around the collection. Yeah, you'd make a good um, Mando. You've got that look. The, the leading man. Yeah. Uh, let's get into New This Fortnight. Yep. New This Fortnight. Okay, so what have I got news for tonight? Um, Star Wars. Um, I literally just took this photo about five minutes ago because um, I, <laughs> I only got these figures. So yeah, so um, I've got two customs there, and uh, and the in the middle of the um, sideshow Lando skiff guard. Yeah. So the if I start with the guy on the left, so that's um, I wanted to put together a Death Trooper, uh, Death Star, not Death, a Death Star Trooper. Um, so that is the helmet from the um, Leia and Wicket set, which I owned and when I and I sold them off when I first got the set because I thought oh, I'm never going to need them. Um, but just recently, I've, I've I've kind of wanted to get to put together the original twelve uh, Kenner figures yeah, yeah. that they released. Yeah. So um, the only ones I didn't have were Death Star Trooper and. Um, Tuscan Raider, which again I have owned a sideshow on before, but I I, I didn't I didn't love it. Um, so I'm, I, I'm deciding what to do about that. Whether I go down the kind of you know custom printing route um, for that. But as for this guy, so that is a uh, picked up. Um, I think it was brand new. Still had all the wraps on it. A uh, uh, Pradji uh, from yeah. Sideshow, uh, 2007. That was long time ago. Um, obviously a horrible body, horrible sculpt. Yeah, uh, so I, I bought it for the clothes. I got it for seventy pounds, which I thought was pretty good. That's was pretty like good, dude. bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've seen them go for a lot more than that. Um, yeah. So yeah, so stuck it on a on a true type, and that is the uh, old man hand sculpt that I had on um, one of my indies before my my um, crystal skull indie before I swapped it for the uh, um, the blade runner head. Yeah. Uh, so, so he's got the the, the head, top of his head chopped off, and I thought actually he'd probably be quite good because, in my mind, it doesn't it doesn't massively look like ha uh, uh, Harrison Ford. It's not it's not a great. And a lot of those guys that were playing those officers were quite old, older guys. Yeah. So I thought I'd try that. So I got the the helmet in today, um, and I added the I ended up making that chin guard out of a piece of plastic. Yeah, um, and then some leather straps. Um, so yeah, he looks pretty good actually. I'm quite happy with him. Um, so he's going to go in my on my new hope shelf. Uh, and then I've been working on the layer um, slave layer because I've seen a couple of guys doing customs of her recently, and I really mm -hmm. liked what they've done. So uh, essentially, it is there was um, um, an AC play set that came out a few years ago. Which was the the outfit of what there is of it, and um, and a head sculpt, which the head sculpt was pretty naff. Um, 
So I managed to get hold of one of those. I, I couldn't find one on eBay, but I reached out on the groups and someone had one that they'd bought and, and never opened. So it's effectively brand yeah. new. So I got that for retail, which is really good. Um, and then the head is um, the end or layer head. Um, and then you just cut the bun and the and there's a there's a pony uh, you know like a, an actual um, yeah rooted, rooted hair ponytail behind there so you can just stick that on. Um, I did I have repainted the whole outfit because it comes in a kind of a pretty horrible yellow, you know it's mm-hmm. plastic and yellow. So I've just painted it with um, kind of gold and bronze um, sort Looks of metallic good. pens. Yeah, yeah. And if you have a look, you might just be able to see it because I've got the costumes. Have you got the costumes book from the original yeah, trilogy? Yeah. Amazing. It's a book. great buy. It's like twenty five uh, bucks. Yeah, Amazon. I've always wanted it, and I think it was always really expensive when I saw it. But I picked that up, and it's lovely. Especially when you're doing customs, yeah. um, and when I had a look at that one, it, it, it's got um, it's got like an underlying base paint of red, mm-hmm. and then it's like where the gold's been painted over the top, and then it's chipped off. So you can just about see yeah. maybe on the wrist bit where I've done yeah, the yeah, red yeah, underneath, that. and it gives it a you know a bit of depth. Uh, swap the chain out for something a bit more hardcore. Um, I made the the um what would you what would you call it dress it's really a dress but um because the one it, fabric yeah exactly the one it comes with is pretty horrible um that might not be the final one because i've got a couple more i've got some like more velvet ones coming in yeah that might have more weight to them so yeah yeah, yeah. Um, i think that'd be good yeah so i might swap that out but actually i'm really happy it's a, unfortunately it's the second body because it's really difficult to know what uh this is one of the jowl bodies um which are really good i was gonna say this the bust looks pretty good because yeah it's back when yeah back when i made this custom in 2017 2018 yeah um only the the well-endowed bust were available and and they uh, didn't look good well i mean it looked good but uh, (laughs) yeah uh, but yeah it just didn't look accurate right and uh one thing about fisher yeah one thing about this this the head looks like a Pretty decent match for the flesh tone as well. Um, yeah, this is the problem. Then, so, the, yeah, back then they were awful. Yeah. So, first of all, I pre-ordered. There's um, a new Fison small bust Fison one yep. coming. So yeah. I pre-ordered that, put ten pound down, and then I thought I'd have a look round. And the gel ones are good. They're about fifty pounds, so probably what seventy bucks. Yeah, which is pretty good. And they're really good bodies. So the first one, I was arming an eye. I didn't know what to order, so I ordered natural tone, and it was too pink. Um, it just didn't look right. So, uh, you know, you're gambling 50 quid each time. So I thought, well, I'll go for light suntan. And actually, that's pretty much spot on. Um, I wasn't about to buy a third one. So then yeah. you, you, you're in the realms of whether... I mean, I'm not I'm not up to repainted head sculpts. Obviously, I could send it to Ian if, if it needed it. But yeah, actually, that one's pretty good. Um, they're not exact, but it's, it's, it's close enough. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, that, that's cool. And then, and then I kinda, and uh, what happens normally with me is I, I start one figure, and then I'm like, right, I need something to go with it. So yeah. I wanted to get a Lando, and he'll be ultimately be holding the chain that's attached to a neck. So a story with this one as well. Um, I knew this Fortnite's always go on forever, don't they? Um, yeah. This I know. I've is... been on before. It's like 50 minutes. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah I'm still on well, at least there's only two of us, and I'm not sure what <laughs> yeah. you've got. Um, so this one here only came in today, so I've literally just got him out of the box. So, um, so that is effectively that's the sideshow um, uh, Lando. He, but it was one that someone had bought loose, um, so it didn't have the pistol. I said that's fine because I've got that's the Luke Return of the Jedi pistol because it's the same one because he steals it from one of those guys anyway, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, Jabba's plus, and that is a um, and he made the he made the vibro axe. Really neat, actually. It says metal pole, and he sculpted all of the the blade and and it bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, so he sold that to me for ninety five pounds. Mm-hmm. So really, you know, less than half the price it would cost me to get the the new one. Um, and I don't want the the other head because it's horrible. Um, I don't need those those two hands will do what I need them to do. Um, he's got the 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 forearm armor on the right hand is missing. But yeah. actually, I think he looks all right without it because it's weird that he's only got one anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, for the for the price, um, I think it's really good. The, the body's really solid on it. Um, the outfit's really nice. So I haven't really had a lot any time to look at it, but I might um, 
do a few mods up kind of those the yeah the, that's the, the one mod that everyone does yeah they just get like yeah. a marker and yeah yeah exactly you, you know, don't need it's to not really that them. hard to do nope know. nope and i might just weather him up a little bit um but yeah it looks pretty good and what i can see of the head sculpt in, in inside the helmet it looks good i know that people said you can lower it a little bit if you heat it up and yeah drop it down a bit but it, lo it looks good in there um so yeah so happy with those happy with those two um yeah, so that's me. How about yourself, uh, Zach? Uh, I know you've so been on I, every night this week, so you've yeah, probably gone through it all. But <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been a week. Uh, so I picked up the Black Series, the 50th anniversary, uh, Anakin, Obi Wan, and Echo. Uh, okay. They had Hawk. They didn't have Hawk, but there is a Hawk on that set, and uh, I don't need Hawk. Uh, and so the Anakin and Obi Wan, great figures. Call back to my first figure that I ever bought uh, to get me into collecting, uh, and uh, it's a it's a fantastic figure i have them up there on the shelves and they mm -hmm. look fantastic just like two minutes ago i just had something delivered that we're unboxing tonight on the oh, channel nice. it's the uh iron studios 10th scale miles morales a little bit of a smaller statue mm. um but uh you, you know, had any of this stuff before well the t-rex is iron studios is it oh okay yeah so uh technically the miles will scale with the t-rex uh but i i went to like five or six stores in town because uh, we have a lot of stores that are retailers of Iron Studios. They all had, like, all the other Spider characters. None mm -hmm. of them had Miles Morales. There was one store I had it on pre-order with. Asked them if it ever came in, and uh, they said they never actually took down my pre-order, which was pretty fucking okay. annoying. Uh, so, you know, Paradox Nerd had one, gave me a great price. Uh, it was, like, you know, $50 below what you would get it shipped mm -hmm. off of Sideshow to begin with. So, uh we're unboxing that tonight, uh, and then Danny Lee's unboxing his um, his uh, scout trooper with the bike. So stay tuned for. Oh that. yeah, be... I wondered who's that. Who's that was? I saw yeah. the the uh, preview for it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'll be later tonight. And uh, yeah, Equan says I'm working overtime. Yeah, I don't want Pete to be alone. I don't want my <laughs> sweet angel Pete to be alone. He's got to be protected at all costs. And uh, Ian had something come up last minute, and um, you know I was free to step in, so we did that. Yeah, it's the it's the CW family. That's right. We're, That's where we have uh, the network. It in it Empire. together uh let's get into new releases uh so up uh to start off with the hot toys ray did release in hong kong uh coming in at 270 quid uh i think that this figure i didn't really like the head sculpt from the these pictures but yeah. i've seen a few people that have had it in hand uh and it definitely doesn't look too bad uh, big shout out to Hot Toys. He threw in, you know, the saber that they didn't really yep. advertise it with. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I I think this is great. You also get the little wrap as well. I don't think they had solicited that. You can, you know, do the scene where yep. she wraps up the sabers and yep. I guess buries them. Uh, but I mean, this is a cool set. Two seventy quid, not too bad. And uh, no. you, you know, I don't. Oath. Yeah, I don't love that's it as much cool. as the Kylo, but uh, it's yeah. definitely not bad. What do you think, Pete? Yeah, I like it. I, I think the reason I put that head sculpt the the helmeted one in the middle so i actually think that looks really good i think that looks whatever reason whether it's just the angle or whether it's you know because you're not seeing as so much of the head i think that looks really good that's kind of you know more accurate to daisy ridley than the one uh -huh. slightly ne next to it so i yeah. think it has got some good features on it but it's just one of those ones where the angle is going to be really um critical i think as to, to, to the likeness um yeah but yeah, it, it comes with a lot of stuff. The outfit's really cool. Um, Dio's cool. He's, he's magnetized, isn't he? Doesn't he magnet onto the, the base, yeah, I think? it's adorable. Um, and he'll probably go for quite a bit of money on his own. I'd probably like to pick one of those up for my boy. Um, so I'll be looking to see if anyone's parting that out. Yeah, um, I love it. Yeah, no, it's cool. And to have the uh, the yellow saber as well, um, that's good because that's not gonna you're not going to yeah. get that anywhere else. Nope. Um, um, kind of a shame because didn't I know they released the Jet Trooper, the Sith Jet Trooper, Kylo and Ray. That's it for this movie, right? Just four mm, figures. Or mm -hmm. Am I missing anybody? I think so. Yeah, can't think of any others. So that completes the line. That's yeah. That's saying that's it for, for the, a yeah. Star Wars movie. That's four four figures. That sucks, dude. Yeah, and I know and, a lot and, of people didn't like the movie, but I mean, come on, I give us a Poe at least. Well, how many, give us how many, another Finn. Yeah, how many figures do we get for? Um, Last Jedi, because that was the, uh, the worst. Well, Last thing. Jedi, I think we had only two as well. I think it was yeah. Ray, Kylo, maybe a First Order or something. Crate I know for Luke, TF, 
Yeah, crate, crate Luke. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Crate Luke. Um, I, I think that I, may have been it. I think it's this. It's I guess technically we got the the R two from the Last Jedi for uh, Episode Seven, then Kylo, yeah. Ray, yeah. Finn, Phasma, bunch of stormtroopers. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mark this says, "Who's thing. displaying the saber burial scene?" Look, man, I've seen some weird <laughs> shit out there. There's probably one person that's like, "Fuck <laughs> yes, yes." You get a little Anyways. sand pit out, and um, yeah, I think go. it's probably a couple of things. Um, Zach, maybe that the movies, although they obviously did massive. Um, at the at the box office, I yeah. think critically that they, they they weren't as well received, and obviously Hot Toys got massively burnt on their Force Awakens. With Dude, the... there's <laughs> still figures in stock. Yeah. <laughs> there's still yeah. figures in stock. So I think um, maybe they just went ultra cautious and just went. I'm like, we'll just so give them yeah, I'm so the bummed main. that they didn't release the quarter scale Kylo that they showed with the did uh, they really? The pyre. Even... Yeah, it was a, with the pyre Vader's burnt helmet on mask sculpt. Man, that oh, thing okay. was awesome. Yeah, Don't I think it was shown that. at like SDCC like 2017, and then it got yeah. canned. Uh, it was a great looking figure, but mm. um, I mean, I guess this is it for Star Wars, and there, we're on our like 11th Mandalorian figure. So I think you're right. Yeah. Maybe it does have to do with the critical acclaim, uh, perhaps. Yeah, and Mando stuff's just selling like fire, isn't it? Something it's, like hotcakes. Um, yeah, definitely, and and you know, like people like Ian, he wasn't going to get into the line, and now he's kind of almost getting everything. Um, yeah, so you know, suck people in, and they're and they're good figures. You know, there's some good characters, some good figures. So, um, I'm kind of glad I'm not got into it because because <laughs> there's a lot of money and there's a lot of space that I don't have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think it goes to show how much more popular Mando was to to these films. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up next, we have the uh, S King. SKS 001 16 head sculpt 31 quid. Uh, this one uh, is fantastic. Now, yeah. I've seen some people that have had this in hand. Uh, fits great. The yellow matches pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe there's some questionable origins as to this potentially being like a recast. I think I've heard some people mention. I don't know if right. that's 100% true, but at any rate, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm not really like the moral compass of well and it wasn't licensed so. one in the first place exactly so, so you know. um, i think this is great i think this is what people want to see and uh i know that there's a lot of people that uh that i know that are going to be ordering this or have ordered this uh i think it's great i love the expressions i love the sculpt i mean this is like yep. a slam dunk yeah yeah brilliant um yeah i do remember the the, the custom um I, I can't think who did it um which they bought out i think it was the- unreal toys i think yeah, and that was brought out a lot closer to obviously when the figure originally yeah, yeah. came out. Um, so it's a bit of an odd. It's it's funny. It's just popped up, but I think it it does look really cool. And it's you know the 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 thing that the, those movies were really missing was was a proper uh, helmeted Wolverine. I think um, I don't understand why. I mean, fucking. There's that one scene where he's on the plane and he opens up the like. Why are you yes. doing that at the end of the movie? Do that in the movie. People want to see that shit. They don't want to see that. Yeah, the and I guess last they two seconds it of the fucking a movie. A bit goofy, but um, it's classic. Because they very obviously from the start they went against all of the brightly coloured, yeah, um, kind of spandex of stuff, didn't they? So yeah. I, I think they. Um, I get what you're saying, but I mean, come on. Yeah, that's a eek one there. I don't see yeah, anything equal. but Mando figures in the future, just based on how well it is doing. I hope that's not true because I, I still. Would like to see some original trilogy stuff. I think there's still some. I'm not going to say the B the BH. Um, BH. Not but not butthole. Oh my Best spin hand. Oh, I was um, like BH. Yeah, yeah. I was like, bro. <laughs> but it's become such a dirty already. word because whenever the, it's like best spin hand, where's best spin hand? Um, fucking C three PO maybe. Yeah, there, there's you know there's uh, we don't need a ton more figures, but there's probably four or five figures that would. Happily, where's the know, ice cream dude from? From fucking Bespin, the black dude. What's his name? William Hurt or something like that? The, or the William, ice cream. Dude. You don't know about that? No. We gotta, let me, we gotta, we gotta derail the show for a second. <laughs> Go yeah, for it. Yeah, it, it's like a meme. Like people, it's like the here we go. Uh, Will Will Row Hud. People, this is this is what Hot Toys needs to make, right? You know, can right. can Bespin Han? We need the the Will Row Hud uh, hood. Uh, one six scale with the Camtone. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> he's the guy in the background that's like running through um, 
running through uh, Bespin when when the Empire, the, you know, right. they got the warning. And okay. this dude, they, there's like conventions, right? Yeah. Here. Like people cosplay, like hundreds of people. Like, oh wow! I've completely like, look missed at this that. right here. All these people dressed up as. <laughs> I mean, these are. I don't think there's a single black person in that crowd, but. And he's and he's got. I mean, an look ice at cream. this. He's he's, he's like an icon. Oh, look at brilliant. this right here. It's a. I mean, if Hot Toys releases this, make it a DX. Oh, wow. You know. Yeah. Make it a DX. Give it the purrs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it on there. Uh, have a look at that. Like, so. give it the full Monty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that, Pete. Let's bring your slides back in. Uh, let's no, get fine. in to... Yeah. Uh, Coming soon. All right. Starting off, Hot Toys mm -hmm. did show the Artillery Trooper uh, 160 quid at Sideshow, releasing January to March 2022. Uh, this dropped late last night and uh, was put up for pre-order this morning. Uh, I think that this is... Uh, it looks good. I like the light touch of weathering on it. Yeah, uh, and a lot of the scenes they show him using the white like backpack clip thing, and it's supposedly that is a detonator, but in the show okay. he uses the ones that are on his back, those uh, like the Death Trooper style yeah. grenades, yeah, yeah. Uh, for yeah. the mortar. Um, so I think it's interesting that all the most of the pictures show him with that white thing. Mm -hmm. um, one thing, um, if you look at the base, that's surprising. Uh, a lot of the Mandalorian bases did have the foot imprints. Yeah. This one seems yeah. to not have that, which is fucking amazing i think they probably um, listened to the criticism they probably listen but uh yeah yeah i think this looks really good and uh i think in in us it's like 220 so uh definitely not too bad of a price and yeah. uh yeah you know I, I i think this is pretty decent what do you think pete yeah it's cool yeah um and obviously that price of 160 is is without um the shipping and and, and the uh um tax and stuff i think so it we it, it work out a bit more expensive for us but yeah i like it um it's just weird that they didn't announce it in um star wars week because we'd seen it on the on their tables and um i suppose they just wanted to keep something back for for people um yeah i like it it's pretty cool um i mean it's no will roll hood but it's <laughs> not too bad um up next, I always hot... thought that that canisters where they kept their lunch in. Anyway, I didn't realize it was a grenade. I always, for some reason, knew it was a grenade. Like as a yeah. kid, I don't know if I ever read that but, somewhere. Or if I, mean, I just they thought never it was used a grenade, it, did they in the, in in the, uh, in no, the original trilogy? No, no, they don't think they ever did. No, but um, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's like a little greebly that you know. Yeah, I guess it has yeah. some random backstory on it. I mean, every little thing in this armor has some random function that makes no fucking sense. But mm -hmm. you know. Like somehow this suit is pressurized against the environment, but they just fucking fling the helmets off like it's nothing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hot Toys did also show the Tony Stark Mark V suit up version. Uh, there is a deluxe and a regular. The deluxe yep. comes in at two hundred ninety seven quid, releasing July to September two thousand twenty two. The deluxe version comes with uh, the Mark V suitcase with articulation function, uh, so you can kind of pose it as the uh, beginning of the suit up scene. Uh, and I, I, I'm not sold on this yet. Uh, I didn't find this out until Tuesday live that this was the, uh, MMS 600, which is yeah. kind of kicking the balls. Um, I was thinking MMS 600, maybe, maybe Mark one diecast, best bit yeah. Han, C3 PO, something really classic. And then they give us, uh, kind of a throwaway figure. In my opinion, I would have mm -hmm. much rather have seen this with the suit and a helmet as one release. And then a more premium deluxe version at this price yeah. point with with all these accessories. Um, yeah, what do you I think, think it was it was it Super Duck or someone like that did the did the yeah. Um, there's been like two or three, and I only one of those two or three third parties had the helmet. Uh, okay. And it, I mean, it's a good looking helmet, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a bummer um, to me. Yeah, go back to the uh, obviously Hot Toys have kind of set um, the precedent now that all the hundred releases will be an Iron Man. Um, they've done that since what 300 yeah. i think um but yeah as you say the one that yeah. people would have wanted would have been the um mark one die cast um because i mean they've already done the 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 mark five die cast um, twice yeah exactly That's so it's well like, actually three times because it was the, the plastic one the die cast and then the reissue Oh, there was yeah, there was a reissue, yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it, it, you know, the market's quite saturated with this figure, um, and it's funny that you're kind of going back to um, is this this is fully plastic, is it? I believe so. Yeah. Um, it's also not really like 
Like you can only half trans. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Like no. I mean, because this is like if you were to pause him suiting up, you would yeah. capture this look. Yeah. But the suit wraps around his entire body, so you're mm -hmm. just getting like a tiniest portion of the transformation. Like maybe yeah, like maybe like very, three quarters of the way through. Yeah, it looks really odd. Like when you see the full, it, it's very big and clunky. It um, looks chunky, it, dude. Yeah, it's it's um. Not for me. Um, I think it's a bit. Yeah, it's a shame. I, I don't know whether that means that kind of they're not they're not planning on doing the um, the Mark One in diecast just because of the weight of it. Oh, because um, you just thought. Oh, you know, you might have to wait till seven hundred now, Zach. Uh, Is that a figure you're anyways. after, or no? You be not at all. No, no so. not at all. There's honestly very few figures I think Hot Toys is making or can announce that is going to get me excited. Um, like, there's characters that I really wanted, and one of them actually just released this week, the Star Ace Caesar. That's X Plus by Star Ace. Oh, it's like a little diorama. Planet of the Apes, you mean? Yeah, Planet of the Apes yeah. from the, mm -hmm. the newer trilogies. Um, yes. Yeah, so that one came out. I'm actually, like, really... Uh, they sent me a coupon yesterday. I'm like, fuck. 100 bucks off with my rewards and the coupon. Like, it's pretty tempting. Is that um, a Star Ace, so the little diorama ones? Well, it's an it's X Plus... Yeah, I'll pull it up. It's X Plus, but it's uh, distributed by Star Ace. Um, but uh, seen, yeah, it's like. Um, have you seen the Ray Harryhausen stuff they're doing? Uh, I've seen uh, some that have like a really big head. It's not that style. Uh, Here, no, no, these that. are. Um, uh, anyway, we'll have a look at the one you're. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's Caesar on the horse, and they, the they horse, make the rifle yeah. version or the. Oh, I think you've. Yeah, I've seen you show that. Yeah, is that. Um, yeah. So what scale is that? That's six scale. It is six uh, scale, yeah. Yeah, so I'm super tempted by that. But no, I mean, I, I don't know. It's not really anything Hot Toys can throw at me that I'd be like, oh my gosh. Like the Miles, uh, the one from the animated movie, I don't have the one on pre order yet, but I, I need to get on it because that one, uh, it's going to look pretty good. Yeah. And then I'll have no, four or six scale Miles, which is like probably more than anyone needs, but, <laughs> you know, I like yeah. having some options, right? Yeah, you, you're a big Miles fan, so that's yeah. cool. Like, a, um, like he's your indie for me. There, there, you, there you go. Yep. There you go. Yep. Uh, Star Ace uh, Toys put up the Catwoman from Batman Ninja. Uh, 203 releasing September 2021 to November. I'm not that familiar with this. I guess it's no. a movie or a show. I think they, it, do they also did have, an animated show, didn't they? Yeah, you know, yeah, film. yeah. They, they do also have the... Um, the Batman ninja from this film and yep. a Batman with the horse on sideshow. Right. Um, I mean, the figure looks great. The portrait looks pretty good. Um, the accessories look okay. The price point's really cheap. I mean, it's like only 200 quid. It's very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know anything about this character. No, I don't. Um, I don't. Um, I don't know if Ian was a big fan, but I know, I think he put it on the show sheet. Yeah. Um, I couldn't find a picture of the deluxe version. That's why I just put the bit of text down there. So you get a, pair of pink claws, black cat with a movable head, and a bendable arm for different posing, but surely the arms bend anyway. Not quite sure what that one... Oh, it's the arm on the base. Bendable arm stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks good. But um, unless you've got the... Um... Hey! JB Collection. Says, what's up, Mark? Mark uh, cool. Let me switch over here. So this is the... Um... Oh, That's the it. Batman there. Yeah. And then the deluxe version, I think you're right. Yeah. Also, shout out to this pose. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It looks, uh, it's it's good, good, good posability on it. If, I uh, love the uh, the printing on the face. I think that looks really good. Yeah. But yeah, the deluxe is 279 The collector's is 265 And I think you're right. It's just the claws and then that bendable arm for the base. So definitely not a big difference there. But yeah, yeah Star Yeah, but if it's only 15 would you say $15, you might as well get the... Um, Get the deluxe if you're going for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, 265 that. That's a little bit more than I thought it was. For me, I thought it was way cheaper. It's on HBO Max, apparently, if you want to watch it. Well, I'll have to check that out. I think I've watched it, but I, I can't remember. Damn, that pose, though. Because the joke is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sticking with Batman, Daft Toys put yep. up the R-Pats uh, F0161 scale figure. 85 quid release in Q4 2021. You can buy this at our... Uh, collecting Weekly sponsor, 1-6 Corner. It's uh, not mm -hmm. too bad. It's like 125 US. 
Uh, I think this looks fantastic. Um, getting a full figure with a yep. great portrait. Obviously, we don't know how good this movie will be. We don't know if it's going to be an awful film, if he's going to yep. portray the character poorly. I loved him in Tenet, so I was like, I'll take a chance on this figure. Mm -hmm. It's only 125 bucks, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, Daft Toys does some excellent tailoring, and uh, I haven't yeah. ever seen any of their portraits, but if you know, of course, between now and the, the release, this could become much worse. But uh, I think I think this looks fine. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. Um, I'm hoping the movie's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's, it's it looks like a really sort of different take um, from what we've seen. It, it, obviously, it, it's two very different roles. It's how he plays Batman and how he plays um, Bruce Wayne. Um, mm -hmm. He might be great at one and not so good at the other. But I think it's good. Um, I th I always have a bit of an issue with these sort of things because when back when I started collecting, I had the DX12, and I also kit bashed a uh, Bruce Wayne with the head sculpt. Mm -hmm. But you kind of get to the point where if you start running out of room, you're going, "Well, it's just a guy in a suit," and I could have, you know, I'd rather have, you know, another character or something like that. So I'd I think have these my twenty fifth really India. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm not yeah. one to talk really, but um, yeah. it looks really nice. And I'm sure, as you say, the tailoring on their stuff is is really good. Um, yeah. But uh, it's almost like people are going to go, yeah, it's great, but you know, we want we want the bat. Um, yeah. But it'd be good to have the head sculpt if you wanted to um, eventually put it on whatever comes out from that movie, whether it's Hot Toys yeah. or whatever, and they don't include one. I, I really hope Hot Toys doesn't skip this movie. I yeah. love the suit design. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. If they skip it, I hope some company makes one. Like, it, I just... I, I, I really hope they make it. I mean, for you, what, who's your favorite uh, Batman? Like Oh, Keaton's. Wise? Keaton, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that's part of doing my age. That they're the ones that you know that I kind of grew up with. I mean, eighty nine was such a massive. I was fourteen that summer. Um, yeah. So it was like a huge, huge um, event, like for me yeah. and my friends and stuff. Um, so yeah, how about yourself? You... I I really like Ben Affleck, but mm -hmm. I think Christian Bale. I think the Dark Knight trilogy is just like yeah, that, that movie's fucking. Those movies yeah, are fucking he's... dope. Yeah. Yeah, I'm rewatching well. the trilogy for like the fiftieth time. It's fantastic. Like, yeah, I rewatched them recently because I got them picked up on 4K. And, and I'm uh, so yeah. bummed because I don't have a six scale bail. Like I really want one, and I was like this close like last year to buying one, and the dude just flaked on me. Which like, what, we had a the, price. Uh, which one was the it the armory version? Okay, yeah. But it was not the. It was like just the figure, not the armory. He was like, I'm gonna part it out anyways. I know they're making two new ones by Hot Toys, but I have no patience for that. Yeah. If I can track one down at a good price, I'll probably do it. But I'm, I'm like, just so sad. Like it's such a good movie. I want that in the collection. I have the quarter scale NECA one. It's great, but it, yep. you know, I'm still primarily a six scale collector. But yeah, uh, me, yeah, me too. Yeah. So I mean, I guess we'll see hate, what our paths brings to the scene. Hate this movie not coming out until 2022. Yeah, I mean, is it is it finished as far as we know? And they're just not releasing it this year, or is it I don't still... know. Because they've done know. that with a few things. I don't really. I mean, obviously yeah, like the whole... uh, Dune was supposed to be out last year, and they pushed it to yeah. October. And then same with Halloween Kills, they pushed it from last October to this October. Yeah, that and was uh, Minions Minions Three isn't until summer twenty twenty two. That was ready to go of last year as well. So it's weird that they've kind of. And when you look at the schedule, it's not like they're just trying to avoid another big release or something there's not really anything around them so i mean the whole cinema schedule's all fucked up anyway um yeah uh, what's your view on kind of getting back to the cinema is that something you're uh so to do or? i know we have this talk on after dark uh dean just said like well you're an american do whatever you want but you know mm, yeah. i listen to the scientists right? yeah, and yeah. and they say that now with if you're fully vaccinated, you can go out and start doing stuff again. Mm -hmm. um, we did uh, we did do the theater rental. Um, yeah. The theater rental for Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, we asked everyone to stay home if they felt ill. We socially distanced in the theater. Mm -hmm. um, I felt very safe doing that. Um, I was fully vaccinated at that point. But, yeah, um, yeah I mean, I don't mind. Like, the my, my good friend, 
Clifford, I go. He's the guy I go to the movies with all the time. Mm-hmm. He's uh, one shot in, about to get the second one in June. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. after that, you know, I'm. I mean, if it's on HBO Max, I watch HBO Max. Stay home, but yeah, you yeah. know, if there's a movie that's not, I, I, I feel personally like it's okay. A lot of times when I go to the movies, it's like during a weekday, like you know, Thursdays I'm off at so in, in the middle of the day, before. right? So it's not gonna be that many people there. You know, I'm not yeah. gonna go to a convention, right, or like a premiere mm-hmm. of a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit with 300 other people, but I, I feel comfortable enough, right? We're kind of like dipping our toes a little bit. We went out as a family and had a sit down meal for the first time in about a year plus. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did that um, about two weeks ago. Was, you know, it's just a Whataburger, right? It's not like a yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. like a we're a five star restaurant, but it just felt so nice to be. At a restaurant, sitting down. I was just something so simple, but it was like, it just yeah, felt so odd. Yeah, but it was like, yeah. you know, we're, we're doing this. Like, wow, this is. Yeah, because we, o- we we opened up for indoor entertainment just this week on Monday mm-hmm. this week. So we'd been to the, um, we'd had a meal outside at the pub, and that 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 felt a bit weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't been to an indoor um restaurant or, or pub yet but <clears throat> the thing is um i don't i don't mind the concerts going to, to the cinema but the problem is they're saying i don't know if it's the same in the states they're saying that unless you're eating or drinking you, you've got to wear a mask so i just said we well, just eat and drink the whole way through it just really slowly eat your popcorn one piece at i mean a who's time. gonna check they're gonna yeah so you haven't exactly. touched the popcorn in 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah put that mask on and get out yeah so um yeah, I kind of, I kind of agree. But there's not really anything. Uh, if I look at the kind of the schedule for, for, I think Black Widow is probably the next movie I want to see. And and if it comes on Disney Plus, I'd probably rather just pay Fuck on that. that. Twenty bucks for Disney Plus? Dude, I'll pay fucking twenty bucks to watch Black Widow. I go to the fucking theater and pay twenty bucks <laughs> and see it on a big fucking screen. Are you kidding me? You got uh, a projector? Projector yeah, life, bro. You dude, you're my projector to... brother, dude. You like yeah, the projector? Exactly. Yeah. Hell so yeah, you don't dude. need to go to the cinema. That's right. I got a cinema in my house. Josh Ferguson said Indiana's governor just passed a law to bypass the country's laws. So basically, we're open 100% unless certain wow. businesses require masks. Elvis says good morning from Australia, boys. Um, oh. Yeah. SW Toys, uh, or I'm sorry, 30 Demi Gorgon 163Q4 2021. This was something we talked about on Collecting Weekly. It wasn't mm-hmm. up for solicitation at the time of the show. Uh, looks like it has some seamless joints in the arms, but there's joints in the legs. I don't yeah. quite get that. I think it'd be nice to have those uh, very subtle joints on both. Mm-hmm. The portrait looks incredibly scary. Uh, that looks yep. horrifying. Yep. Um, I'll be honest, it looks pretty fucking good. I yeah. never finished uh, Stranger Things, but uh, 3-0. How far did you get? I finished the first season. 3-0, oh, okay. um, in my opinion, if I had to pick someone... To nominate for my personal nomination, not just mm-hmm. as a host, but my collecting weekly awards nomination, Company of the Year. Okay, cool. The Ava line is killing it. The Transformers line is mm-hmm. killing it. This thing right here looks yeah. fucking great. Three yep. zero is just like blowing it out of the park this year, mm-hmm. and um, this looks like another banger of a release. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, and this and they and they're kind of got another. They've got a slate of. Um, Game of Thrones stuff coming as well, haven't they? So that's um, you're goddamn. You're right, dude. Yeah, I think there's about right. five or six figures have said that they're. Yeah, they got that Jamie uh, coming. And yeah, yeah, new, um, uh, yeah. And then they got the new um, uh, Khaleesi. I think yep, they're making yep. Cal Drogo. All these other characters, they're Sansa doing Stark, the Mountain. I'm not yes, sure if it's going to be yes. pre or or, or post death. Um, there you go. And uh, Jorah Mormont as well. There we go, like. Josh. He's probably my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Josh says, "What's the price point of the Demi Gorgon? It's one sixty three quid. Uh, let's do that into U.S. dollars. We'll give you a number here in a second. One sixty three to U.S. dollars. Two ten to twenty. Two thirty one okay. U.S. Yeah. So about the size of a normal six scale figure. Uh, they also got the Power Rangers coming. Mark is right. Yeah. Mark, I gotta oh, send they, you a package. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's, it's been late. I get paid next week. I'll send you the package next week." I, I given Mark a little gift for his Power Rangers collection, and oh, cool! I keep I keep forgetting. I'm so sorry. See, Alvin J says there. Are they only doing a creature line? Why start this? So you debated that on uh, CW, yeah, didn't you? About yeah, I it, at this point the line starts with this. I don't know if it starts and ends with this. 
Uh, I think the reason why they might start with this is because they don't have to secure license rights yeah. from the actors, right? Yeah, no, just, yeah. Uh, yeah, no actor's likeness to, um, to worry on. Um, Josh says he can't see anyone else's comments. Josh, if you go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash collectingweekly, a lot of these comments are coming from YouTube. So mm -hmm. um, usually most people watch it on YouTube and you can uh, see everyone else's comments there. Uh, but yeah, I think that could be a thing. I think they want to test the water before they start yeah, buying Yeah, I mean, the figure rights. looks great. And it looks spot on to ha to how it is in, in yeah. the TV show. I sh you should go back to it, um, Zach. I how many think, seasons uh, are there? Three. And they're making the fourth. Um, I mean, I, I saw it. And then, like, the after credit scene, I guess, like, from the first season. Yeah, yeah, yep. Just was like, I was like, okay. That I've got to go through this again. Time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think um, I didn't enjoy the second season as much as the first, but the third season is really good. Um, okay. And obviously getting to, into a fourth. And for me, like I've said it on on, our, on the show before, but um, apart from obviously the uh, the upside down and the demogorgons and stuff, it's very much my childhood. You know, I grew up in the eighties, and uh, you know the kind of um, like the movies and the music, and so I I, I love it from the nostalgia. Um, you know, point of view as well as it being like, yeah. decent, decent TV. So, yeah, well, I, I'd recommend going back to it if you if you find the time. Yeah, you're um, not the first person to recommend that, good. so I might have to do that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I might have to check that out. Mm. Um, SW Toys One Six Go Lady Adler Special Edition One Ninety releasing Q Four Two Thousand Twenty One. Uh, we talked about the regular edition on Collecting Weekly. Mm -hmm. This is the special edition, which has the, uh, the six-scale horse. Yeah. horse. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about it, Pete? Yeah. What well, is it? Was it from something? Is it? Uh, is this it is a, from Red Dead Red Redemption. Dead. Yeah. 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 So, I haven't played the second one, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I I, know I haven't fact. played it as well, uh, but the portrait looks great. The tailoring looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, again, I. I played the first, like the original one. Yeah, I did. And yeah. um, it was a fun game. But back then, it had this thing, this issue where it would just crash right. all the time. <laughs> and it was so fucking annoying. And um, what were you playing it on? Uh, this, this was back in, uh, geez, I think it was the Xbox 360 days yeah. when mm -hmm. the first one yeah. came out. I mean, this yeah, was, I this was many. Three, yeah. yeah, this was a long time ago. Mm. Um, but yeah, it just would not yeah it just i'd be like an hour into it and of course my dumbass would forget to save all the time and then it crashes and i'm like well uh, that I'm was do, redoing that, that again. was yeah. a waste of an hour and yeah. uh yeah i got tired of it um yeah. three mafia says i only ever played what is this the zombie expansion on the oh that was really I've cool. yeah never heard of that, that was, so yeah what's yeah that they, about? yeah they did uh it was an add-on pack so okay. basically everyone just turned into zombies um, oh shit! It was really good. Yeah, that was. Uh... Yeah, I just remember I got tired of it crashing. So what I would do mm. is I would just, um, uh, like, kind of like go on rampages, right? right. And just like sh shoot a bunch of people and like <laughs> get my wanted level up and then die and then just do it again because I was like, there's no fucking point. Like you know, it's like gonna, this game. There's no point in doing anything. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Great game, but I only ever got like three hours into it before I just fucking got tired of it. Yeah. And, so she looks uh, great, but what do we think of the horse? The horse looks a bit... It looks sweaty. Uh, um, let me see. I, I do agree. Because we both own moist. one six-scale horses, so we, we're... Uh, you know, we, so our that's comments the on thing. This are, <laughs> that's the thing, right? There's, there's these... Uh, these, these um, I don't know, like the James Dean horses, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they're on Sideshow. Uh, I'm going to pull up who makes them, but... Okay. Uh, yeah. Eric Ruiz uh has one right mm -hmm. and uh he he also has a mr z horse and he yep. said they're by star ace he said they're a little small mm -hmm. and um that concerns me because the star ace caesar is on obviously the star ace horse right. mold yeah. granted horses can be different sizes i'm not going to display yeah. the horses right next to each other probably no one will ever notice um but this horse almost looks like a Mr. Z, and I don't know if it's a Mr. Z replica mm -hmm. or a knockoff or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it it looks okay. It just looks a little sweaty because. Yeah. Looking at the Mr. Z one I have, it's pretty matte finish. Yours is Mr. Um, Z, yeah. Yeah, because yours is also right. 
No, no, it's not. I can't remember what make it is. It was, um, it was like a Chinese kind of armored figure. Um, oh, okay. So, and again, I think people said it came up a bit small, but that's all right for the indie because apparently it was, um, it was an Arabian horse, and they're a bit smaller anyway. Not that I care. I'm, that I'm could not be a, a thing. I actually know. know nothing about horses. Yeah, I don't really. But it could also be what... the Mister Z is too large. Could be that yeah, too. yeah. The Mister Z ones, I think. Are probably the best. Um, I they did look. I did look at those. I spent a lot of time looking, um, but I wanted something with a slightly, a little bit more of a dynamic pose. Not that mm-hmm. you get them that dynamic, but um, I think mine's got a raised leg. Um, so nice. It, it's uh, yeah, but it's really cool. Um, yeah, this looks like a Mister Z. I'm not sure. Three yeah. Mafia says is it a new horse sculpt? This looks exactly like the Mister Z. Mm. Like exactly because mm-hmm. you can tell because it has an elastic band on the belly. Mr. Yep. Z has that to keep the yeah. saddle tight. Um, and then also the length of the hair on the, what it's called, the mane, I guess. And then yeah. the tail. Yeah. 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 Craig agrees. But yeah, I suppose so this should the be a pretty good size horse. Pretty good. Yeah, because those horses are like 180 bucks by the Yeah, size. yeah, yeah. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. So that's a good set. If, uh, um, and she looks well scaled on it. Obviously, she's a bit smaller than a, a male yeah, figure. Yeah, I mean, but, um, yeah. It's not too yeah. bad. Yeah. Look at that. we got 16 people watching. Hit those yeah, thumbs up very, if you can. Very cool. Uh, 12 o'clock, T001, 160 L Armsmaster, uh, 122 quid, releasing September to December 2021. Uh, this is uh, Lord of War, mm-hmm. Nicolas Cage. Um, not a big fan. I guess <laughs> I don't understand why <laughs> there's very bullets odd. in a bag. I, I don't get that. Um, he's he's going to sell them to you. Uh, yeah, that's not how you sell exactly. bullets, my guy. No, no. In the box. <laughs> not that I've sold bullets, but I fucking bought them, and they don't. Well, come the in ones a bag. underneath are covered in blood as well, by the looks of it. <sighs> well, again, that's not how bullets look. <laughs> no, there's, no, yeah, there's just a casing. You don't yeah, have a exactly. bullet, <laughs> so I don't. It's odd, isn't it? I um, don't know how I feel about this. Someone was memeing that this head sculpt looked like uh, one of the new cat head sculpts that got a bunch of. Uh, <laughs> laugh reacts on osr <laughs> this is a great movie if you haven't seen lord of war great mm. movie probably one of the best opening cinematic sequences it's fantastic um i think it looks okay i think the suit looks a little not tailored or untailored it needs yeah. more tailoring yeah um head sculpt eh, it looks all right i have, just, I have nothing it just makes to say me laugh this. how these things just come out of nowhere like i don't I mean, think there was, that... was anyone clamoring for this figure. no and that film was what it's got to be 15 years old as well. Yo, give me a give me a national treasure, Nick Cage. Yeah, yeah for definitely. That. This yeah. forget about it. What if the forget sculpt was amazing? Then you could easily kit bash her. Um, and it's I mean, not though, normal that's clothes. The thing. No, no. Yeah. Um, I love the national treasures. It's a shame they only made two. Um, I have, I've actually never one. seen the second one. I have you not? The first it's one's still really fantastic. good. The first one's fantastic. Second one is really good as well. Um, I gotta you check should definitely out. yeah. Um, Because he's got John Voight and um, Helen Mirren are his mum and dad. So they're really good as well. Interesting. Um, Uh, Let's hear a quick word from our sponsor and we'll be right back. Only Fools and Collecting is brought to you by Watto's Scrapyard. They 3D print parts for your hard-to-come-by Ken vehicles. They 3D print 1 12th and 1 6th scale head sculpts from a massive back catalogue. If there is a particular character you want he can design and 3D print it for you for a reasonable price. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. All right, so um, I think you guys are doing a a movie discussion, or a TV discussion rather, of Jupiter's Legacy. I'll be honest, I got queued in to do the show like 30 minutes before it started, so I have not watched Jupiter's Legacy. So Pete, tell me what this is all about. I thought uh, we kind of do it a bit differently to you, so we don't actually arrange to watch something. I just chuck it in there, and either Ian's seen it and we talk about it, or um, or I just say a bit about it. But um, it's on Netflix. I assume it's on um, US Netflix as well, Zach. You can confirm that for me. Yeah. Um, it dropped about two weeks ago, and I'd not heard anything about it. But it's um, based on a comic book by Mark Miller, who's done some really great stuff. Um, yeah, it is on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's eight parts. Um, so basically, it's um, they're obviously they're superheroes, um, but they it's a kind of um, it's set in modern day, but they these guys that they they're old. So the the guy in the middle um, 
and his that's his wife to his left and then his brother and then they're the kids of the man the husband and wife on the side there so uh-huh. it's about the 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 parents are the ones that originally got the superpowers um and that was back in the 1930s so they've this is like 90 years later and obviously they age slowly um and they've all had like super kids so and they're trying to kind of pass on the mantle of of protectors to their kids and their kids are all a bit fucked up like so the daughter there she's she's a drug addict um parties all the time the son is um kind of uh he's got all these chips on his shoulders about trying to be as good as his dad and all this kind of thing he's more powerful so he's kind mm-hmm. of like superman um powers uh the the um his brother there has got uh like um psycho and he can go in people's minds and everything but yeah it's just really good it, it's kind of like it's got a real watchman feel to it just because it's um portrays them as like really real people that have got flaws and mm-hmm. you know they, they they worry about stuff um and it's really good so you get you get um uh, kind of the the modern day story and then every now you get little pieces of of like how they got the powers um mm-hmm. and things like that so it's really good. I, I, I definitely recommend it. Um, so much so, so that I've ordered all the um, the comic books because there's four oh, volumes. Wow. So this is based on the first one. Um, so yeah, hopefully it does well and and, and they um, make some more. But um, yeah, definitely give it give it a watch. Um, um, JB says um, real quick. First off, that sounds fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at it right now. It looks interesting. I think I might have to check it out. Yeah. Um, JB says, "Can Watto Scrapyard sculpt mm. one six? They can. They sculpt yep. a file, and you can print it in like three and three quarter, twelve scale, six scale, one to one. Really depends." Three X Mafia says, "Does anyone know what range a custom sculpt from Scrapyard runs?" Uh, I think it depends. Um, now, uh, when you it depends. Like if you go to a sculptor, right? You tell them to like anyone. Mm-hmm. The prices can be quite expensive, right? So I think the price that he charges for a custom sculpt that's like, like very unique to you that like probably won't sell. I think he charges. I think it's like one eighty. Yeah. And you might think that's expensive, but it takes many hours to sculpt it digitally, and a lot of people that are in this. For example, there was a guy I needed him to sculpt an armor piece for me, uh, on um, on uh, Instagram. This was before I met Sean. Mm-hmm. And I just needed a backpack sculpted for an ODST. He wanted to charge me five hundred dollars cool. for the backpack, wow. for the digital sculpting. So, yeah. you know, I know Jason Nelson on on Ox uh, commissioned a head sculpt. It was about twelve hundred dollars for the wow. for the sculpt and a few copies of it. So about one eighty, and then I I don't know if that includes the price of the first print or not. Uh, I think but he get did, with and, him. and he didn't. He I, I know he used to say that he'd sculpt two two expressions as well. Um, uh, for that, don't for that quote price, me on that. but I don't know. No, no, no. It's worth asking, but um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think I think you get one print with within the price as well. But yeah, just hit yeah. up Sean. Yeah, he's a great guy. He Facebook. he works yeah. quick, and um, I think the quality is great. Um, Alvin says the show looks interesting. It's on my watch mm-hmm. list. Um, Mark says he's finishing Invincible, but this will be next. Yeah, I've heard that. I've not watched that because I haven't got Prime at the moment. But um, the boys is great was, too. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, what do we got next? We have group shenanigans. Let's hit yep. them with one of these. Shenanigans! 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 What? Jesus. Uh, Jazz Inc. dioramas um, approved the... They were approved by license for the U.S. and U.K. members of the Facebook page. Uh, he did mention that there was um, uh, kind of like a grace period where yep. you could order from the website at the uh, reduced prices, not reduced price, mm-hmm. but the normal prices yeah, yeah. before the license prices take effect. Because obviously, uh, he'll have to pay parts of of um, the price point to to kind of hold that license. Yeah. Um, you have to be a member of his Jazz Inc. Diorama's Facebook group uh, to get the details of the pricing, like to take advantage of that. But uh, it's going to change pretty soon. So if you're on defense about anything uh wb related warner brothers related be yeah. sure to uh, place an order sooner than later because once it gets that official license uh pricing into effect it's gonna go up by some amount yeah. um another thing i guess ian was 
trolling some dude. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. This guy says, I want to turn her into a custom Jedi. Anyone how, know how difficult it is to remove the costume? Ian says, should be easy if you manage to get yourself dressed every day. All on your own, you should <laughs> be fine. A little bit of a hot take. I will say this. It is very daunting if you're new to customizing to undress a figure. Very you daunting. Think? If you just spent three hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars <laughs> on a figure, and you're gonna yeah. have to take it apart, that's pretty daunting. I don't know about you. Yeah. For me, the first time I ever took apart a Vader, it was like I was performing goddamn heart surgery. I was taking pictures of everything as I was going. Yeah. Very <laughs> tedious about it. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think this is as much of a shenanigans as Ian wants to make it. No. Um, you know, because not only that, but there are some parts of some figures that to disassemble them, there's certain steps. So, for example, Rogue and Vader. Uh, there's a there's a zipper on the back of the vest, right? The suit yeah. it's like a pants, and then like a a shirt with like an Under Armour material, and then mm-hmm. over that goes the vest, and then over that the chest box and everything else. Yeah. yeah. That zipper, you you're not supposed to unzip it all the way, because if right. you unzip it all the way, you can't get it back on. No, no. I don't no, know no. why, but no, it just no. doesn't go back on. The pro tip there is to only zip it like three quarters of the way, and then kind of futz everything out. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. a tip that you would wouldn't know, right? First yeah. time I did it, fuck that shit up. Never could get that thing zipped up again. So I don't think this is a stupid idea for this guy to ask this question. I guess Ian did, but um, yeah, I think this we, is a pretty simple figure, though I imagine. Don't yeah, address. I think we need to remember that you know we're we're seasoned collectors, but there's always always going to be somebody that's just bought their first figure. Um, Although interesting that their first figure they bought, they want to then make into a custom, but that's fair enough. I think, yeah, something like this is quite simple. You just need to be careful with the belts and stuff when you undo those because you can, you know, they're not real leather, obviously, and you could snap those. Um, I think the pouch yeah. came off on my um, layer and I just, I'd stuck it back on. I don't worry about stuff like that, but obviously, yeah. you know, um, some people would freak on that and they wouldn't know what to do with it, um, and that, you, you know. But she's pretty, she's pretty straightforward. Um, I, but I agree with you. Something like a Vader or even like a Boba Fett, you know, you kind like of the Mando. People had no idea yeah. that I'm just the Mando, and I put a video, yeah. and a lot of people were able to learn from that. So you That's know, a pretty as you say, figure. it's not a, if you take photos, it's quite easy to. Say, oh yeah, I know where that went. Oh, that needs to go on there before that. Um, but yeah, I think most of the time. They're okay. Um, I mean, obviously, some figures they do um, actually attach some of the clothing to the body, don't they? And then they, then yep. you've got problems then because she's, there's no way you can get some of that stuff off without actually like all of this comes off fine. But if you want to get the jumpsuit off Hoth layer, you've got to unstitch the back of that, yeah, um, and stitch it back up if you want to if you want to put it back on. So. Um, Steve Blake says, I spent two hours trying to zip up a zipper on a figure last night. Multiple meltdowns. Yeah. I've been there, bro. I've been there. Yeah. Um, I guess because of the size of it, they have to basically seal the bottom of it. Yeah. Make it, you know, once you you, get that bitch off the track, you know, you've got got two pairs of tweezers and you're trying to, I mean, I hate doing buckles and belts and anything like that because I've got huge hands and uh, it just doesn't, doesn't work. But yeah. Ian did have some stuff for custom corner, but we're going to skip that because, yeah. you know, that's his, his custom thing. And I don't really think I'm qualified to no, no, talk no. about that. Um, but let's move into the Patreons. Pete, do you want to go ahead and thank yeah. the wonderful Patreons? Sure. Yeah. So, um, again, I just want to say thanks to the, uh, the sweet angels uh, that are our Patreons. Um, you know, we couldn't do this show without you. Um we've managed to um, massively improve the, the, the kind of the quality of the broadcast and everything. And hopefully, you know, the content as well um, to keep, keep you all uh, watching and listening. So yeah, if just for other things, we've got Ben Porter, Sean Fear, Ian Seabee, Rene Mendez, Eric Mariscal, Quinn Aguirre, Leo Hernandez, King Louis, Mark Pearson, Paul Schreiber, James Colley, Dan Lee, Dini Martin, Stephen Crett, Big Fern, King Zachary, Cesar Maraquin, Mike Cruz, Lisa Martin, Bermonski, Rick DiGregario, Alvin Jules, the Everyday Collector, our, our, our main man John, who's now joined us on the network. Uh, Bola Boyd, Eric Ruiz, Mary Cortez, Stephen Purchase, Sean Yahtzee, Scott Bradley, Jesse Contreras, Stephen Maria Stanley, Lord Voldetort, Eddie Manzanares, and Joe Corpus. Thank you all once again. Brilliant. 
what a bunch of angels. Yeah. Uh, we also have, uh, we sent these out already, but if you, uh, oh, actually, we're going to Patreon. Just kidding. Uh, we do have three <laughs> tiers. Sorry, I was like, crap, I forgot to add the new guy from last night, and I'm doing that right now. Yeah. Uh, we do have three tiers. The Sweet Angel $5 tier sticker sent straight to your door. Uh, and access to 67 episodes of Vox After Dark. The Certified Crispy tier, the $15 uh, tier, which is the uh, Crispy Certificate. Uh, you can get figure fix assistance. So we had a guy, um, he had a figure that had a paint rub on the nose, sent it to me, touched it mm -hmm. up, sent it back to him. Yeah. So that, All yeah. he was charged was postage, and uh, it's good to go. Um, cool. And then also, obviously, the benefits of the previous tier. And then the $25 What a Guy tier, an 18 by 24 poster signed on your first pledge. Uh, doubles of all the stickers we send and one sculpt you're painted by dark side customs after three months and all the benefits of the previous tiers so definitely uh definitely a bunch of uh you know levels to show the support for the show yeah. uh we go a hundred percent of the the patreon you know it's not like uh i just go out and buy a hot toys you know with the <laughs> patreon money uh as much as i'd like to it goes towards funding uh show equipment yeah um goes to funding different parts of the network that we use, like the StreamYard account and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, and, you know, definitely we couldn't do the level of content production that we do uh, without the people that um, yeah, so generously right. contribute. Say, it all goes back into the show. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, you, you can play your part in, 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 in making it huge in the future, in our plans anyway. That's so, right, yeah. 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 Right now we're, we're expanding with a bunch of equipment and every – uh, Penny does help. Uh, yep. We have two stickers that went out for June. Uh, the Small Talk sticker. Uh, actually, they're going out in June. The Small Talk sticker and the mm -hmm. Oxfather sticker. Yeah. Uh, last month, we did the uh, unboxing sticker and the uh, Dean the Dream sticker. The so Dream, these are yeah. going out uh, probably the first, second week of June. We have them in hand already. And uh, yeah, these, are, these came out really good. And uh, hopefully at some point, we'll get to making all the CW hosts in yep. sticker form for yeah, the main show. Cool. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and this is obviously the new small talk logo that we're doing for uh, 2021. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It's yeah. Star Big Wars shout out to Manny to for it, so. yeah. uh, both of these designs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think that's uh, is that it for the slides, Pete? Um, just got the um, T. Public. Oh yes, the T. Public. Yeah. The uh, my God, it's like in 4P. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we I do have some shirts on. I don't know what this is. We you do send have me a new slide. <laughs> Jesus, uh, we do have uh, some shirts on T Public. It's uh, tpublic.com slash collecting weekly. Uh, right now, the stream deck's not linking up to YouTube. There's a security thing mm -hmm. that they're trying to work towards. Uh, but if you do want to show your support for the show in that form, it's great. We get a few bucks for every shirt sold, uh, and it all goes right back into the show production. And you get to show yep. your love for the network. Uh, what else we got? Just the network side, so hell yeah. So your your yeah. your empire. We got Oxfather. small talk. We got small talk. They just put up their new episode this morning. Uh, collecting weekly live. We go live every Tuesday at eight thirty. Uh, episodes go up Tuesday night. OFAC, which we're listening to here, the crown jewel of the empire. Uh, collecting <laughs> rarities. They are doing a show. I think it's Sunday, May thirtieth or May 29th. Um, cool. What's the it'll theme be on that uh, one? it'll be on on beer. Different types of yeah, beer, wow. and beer merchandise. Okay, so, so definitely going to be a good one. Uh, in and outs of collecting, uh, they're smashing, yeah, smashing success for the network. Uh, they are taking off this Friday. They they're going to go back to the every other Friday thing. Mm -hmm. They were just you know wanting to stay on a, schedule. I think there's a big audience. Must be a big audience in California. I think they're putting in some big numbers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Mario has such a good rapport with everyone in the yeah. community. Uh, collecting weekly clips. Eddie's uh, Instagram. Uh, show. It's not really a show, but it's like clips mm -hmm. of all the shows. It's a great program. Yeah. Uh, really funny. If you want to see some of the best moments of all the different shows, go to that. Collecting Weekly underscore clips. Uh, live unboxing. We're doing a live unboxing tonight. Uh, Iron Studios, Miles Morales, and Hot Toys, uh, Scout Trooper with Speeder Bike. We also do them on Mondays as retro unboxings. After Dark was live. Yesterday, it'll probably come down here in the next few hours so if you want to watch last night's after dark before it goes private I for the I patreons do, i do enjoy watching the uh what's the name of the game you play the scribble scribble thing. i oh, was so out of it yesterday I, I just felt awful yesterday so i feel like i had a bad scribble i, I had like <laughs> fifth place normally i'm top of the charts <laughs> it's funny but, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter it doesn't yeah. matter about who wins it's, it's it's hilarious apparently the thing is i can't win that's the thing they always have to conspire against me right okay uh, and then yeah, yeah. ox plays uh, it's the gaming channel. We do 
Uh, sometimes we do scribbles. Sometimes we play uh, flight simulators. Sometimes we be police and we role play that. Um, it's just a f fun show. There's not any pre-production that goes into it. We just kind of fuck around and you know. And sometimes we get flies, bored while we're we, we get bored while we're doing planes it. across the country, don't you? Yeah, I actually slow. just flew from uh, <laughs> from um, to Heathrow uh, from Ian's oh, airport. Did. Yeah, I did the flight. <laughs> Yeah, the also weather sucks today. Uh, it's about a 34 minute flight. And then oh, okay. I butchered the landing. I was like, <laughs> it was so windy. And I've been flying, I've been flying the jet, the T45. Right. And that fucking plane, like, uh, you go like 400 miles an hour and it's nothing. Meanwhile, uh, you know, and I could land that pretty easily, but the plane's a little bit more sensitive. <laughs> so I was, you know, teetering on Heathrow approach and then crashed the plane and then did it uh, again. And I, I figured it out. But <laughs> yeah, it's been a while that I've flown just a regular Cessna. Uh, but yeah, we we did a we tried to do a Star Citizen playthrough uh, the other day. Uh, Dean was having some tech issues, so we switched it to Grand Theft Auto. And uh, you could tell when we get bored because we just start doing like very questionable police brutality things. <laughs> <laughs> this guy we arrested him he was a, he murdered a cop, and we just like took him to the cell and kind of beat him up a little bit. Very bad, but we you know it's it was fun. <laughs> it was entertaining, right? Yeah. Just remember, Jack, um, if you're doing an unboxing tonight, turn up the heating, get your gloves yeah. on. And get I gotta that, be get glistening. Nice sheen. Yeah, I gotta be glistening, man. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, John was, John was glistening. I know, it was scary. Yeah. Like, bro, you're gonna get hypothermia. You're gonna get the heat exhaustion in there or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, big shout out to everyone that tuned in live. It's yeah, always great to pull so, in yeah. pull in a little bit of a crowd on a Thursday. Uh, hopefully, yeah. everything's all right with Ian. I know he just had some uh, yeah, hopefully. thing come up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking, uh, stepping in, Zach. Much appreciated. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, this episode, if you want to listen to it on the podcast form, it'll be live next Thursday. Yeah. And then OFAC will be back uh, the following Thursday. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm Zach. I'm Pete. We'll see you next Thursday. Yeah. Bye.